What's up, Dice Crew? We got Milk74 responding to Roddy Rebel comments pertaining to saying F LA and F the Hoovers. And, you know, y'all probably remember that. It was about a week ago. But we've been dropping some videos pertaining to that. But Milk is a person that's definitely, you know, a part of the Hoover community. So I definitely got to tune in and see what he got to say about it. I'm going to keep it a Benji for y'all doing the reaction. Y'all keep it a Benji for me in the comments. Let's rock. <laughs> So, I've been getting asked my thoughts on Roddy Rebel disrespecting L.A. and telling all the Hoovers to suck his meat. Now, we gonna go. So, I'm like, whoa, is this what he calls sliding for Pop Smoke? Verbally assaulting a street gang on the internet? Like, come on. That's weak. That's not street. That is beneath me. Like, You, you say, bye, L.A., I'm gone. F, y'all. What's what's wrong with L.A.? Why you got to say F, L.A.? Like, why are you having this type of energy all of a sudden? What did the whole L.A. do to you? What did every single person in L.A. do to you? What, did you get pressed when you was just recently in L.A.? Did you get robbed? Did you get booked? Did you get set up? You got to let us know. Did something happen to you that didn't make it to the Internet, bro? Now, like I said, the only reason... That I could think that he would say, all Hoovers suck my meat, is him trying to slide for Pop Smoke. Now, once again, if this is how he's sliding for Pop Smoke, then this is some weak smoke. This is I ain't gonna lie, you know, I done spoke on it, Wax spoke on it, a couple other people done spoke on it. I mean, Brick Baby spoke on it. Uh, Like, man, like, I think Roddy Rebel definitely exposed how goofy he is, you know? Sometimes, you know, you you know, people could look at you one way, but if you do enough or just do the right thing, people, you know, uh, see right into what kind of individual you are. And I just feel like Roddy Rebel lost a lot of respect if he didn't lose all of it from majority, a lot of people. It's boo-boo. I call this boo-boo. This boo-boo activity, bro. You ain't do nothing to no Hoovers. I see if this message... You, you pick this story post after you then got into a situation with some Hoovers in L.A. Then you pick all Hoovers. Do you know that Hoovers just don't exist in L.A.? That is Hoovers, like, located all over this place. The United States, the world. And, you know, I spoke on all the different little sets that, you know, combined as whole uh, Hoover as a whole just in L.A. But Milk is right, and I didn't even think about that. But it is some Hoover sets in about four or five other cities, I mean states. It could be more, but I, I'm familiar. I think it, it's like five that I'm kind of familiar with, you know. But uh, that's crazy that Milk brought that up. And I wonder if Roddy Rebel was even thinking about that when he said that. It's Hoover's in your... Or if he even knew, like, you know what I mean? Like, if he just knew anyway, like, you know what I mean? He might not really be familiar with the gangland like that. The world over there, bro. You ain't do nothing to no Hoover's. I see if this message, you, you picked this story post after you then got into a situation with some Hoover's in L.A. Then you picked all Hoover's. Do you know that Hoover's just don't exist in L.A.? That is Hoover's, like, located all over this place. The United States, the world. It's Hoover's in your world over there where you at. In one of them bare roads. It's some Hoover's over there that's going to get with you. Like, why are you asking for this type of energy? Why are you putting this type of stuff on the internet? It's like you giving the feds a hint. It's like you trying to let them know. But you real familiar with doing shit like this. Because it's the reason why y'all went to prison, lo. Putting stuff on the internet. Now, I wouldn't even know who Roddy Rebel was if it wasn't for the whole situation with Bobby Smurder, bro. Now, I'm being very serious. Now, Robbie, Robbie, <laughs> uh, Roddy Rebel, whatever this goofy name is, Roddy Rebel, music is trash. I have never heard a song from him. I listened to like a freestyle I think he did on one of these little shows. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I definitely am not nothing close to a fan. And I'm not saying that to be disrespectful, but since that's the topic that Milk brought up, I'm just weighing in on that. Like, yeah, I never really true chose to really try to like, you know, I like I don't search her, uh, search uh, Roddy Rebel, Rebel on nothing. Like, you know, I never really felt like inspired to listen to him. 
And I don't even really listen to pop uh 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 the Bobby Smurder either. But I definitely listen to Pop Smoke. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so I don't even know if it was Sway in the morning or I don't know where it was at. But I seen like a little freestyle. It could have been on Instagram. In a uh, Fabio Foreign is kind of cool too, though. You know, I think all of them is kind of around the same area or something like that. So that's why I'm kind of speaking on them. But I might be wrong. You know, y'all gotta let me know in the comments. You know what I mean? If they all from like the same area, um, some of that uh, Chef G and Sleepy Hollow be cool too, though. You know, Instagram somewhere, but it was trash, bro. I don't even know what this dude is known for, like music. I don't know where it was at, but I seen like a little freestyle. It could have been on Instagram somewhere, but it was trash, bro. I don't even know what this dude is known for, like musically. Like, so I really believe that this is a clout move. He's in desperate, he's in desperation for clout, groove. You don't plan on coming back to LA? You a rapper? You gonna have to come back to LA? Then you telling everybody in LA? And again, I, I, like I said on the last video about this, I don't even think it's just L.A. You know, he probably got to be careful if he was even in San Diego somewhere, certain places up north a little bit. You know, uh, any any uh, anything, any counties close to L.A. Like, you know, people be everywhere, you know, and everything ain't that far. You know, anything that's like two hours or something like that, two and a half, three hours, you know, it's a strong chance he could run across some L.A. people, especially if he promoting the show or something like that for like 10 days or four days or whatever he doing. It ain't nothing for a person to get somewhere in three hours, two hours. You know what I'm saying? If a person really just tripping, I ain't saying that 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 they like people like going to try to do something to him. But I'm saying when you said that, it's like you got to be you, 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 you cutting yourself out of a lot of land, you know, a lot of ground you got to cover. That's beneficial to you in the hip hop space, so you got to be careful and you got to be cautious. And you know, I mean, man, I don't know, man. That was crazy. F y'all. Then adding on to what Milk was saying about all the Hoovers from all the different places, it's like he definitely do got a lot of people. That's like that's a lot of space. That's a nice chunk of Los Angeles, I mean, of, of like the West Coast in general, just things that's very close to like uh, Los Angeles or, or California and, uh, uh, well, yeah, you know, things in California or whatever and stuff like that. And then just any other state where he might end up being somewhere where they got a Hoover presence. I don't know why he did that, man, and it was never, you know, it wasn't tough or anything like that. I just feel like that was stupid, and I got to keep expressing that so the young kids, you know, the younger dudes coming up, young ladies, whatever, you know, if you indulging or whatever, just this is the type of things, you know, that's goofy. Don't pick up these type of habits and think this is cool if you're going to try to jump into that type of world because you definitely going to get, you know, you're going to get exposed and people going to not be feeling you. And I ain't telling people to jump into the lifestyle, but I'm just saying if that's what you went to, you know, this ain't cool. You know, don't play with it. You know, it's nothing to play with it. The lifestyle is nothing to play with at all. And he was definitely playing. And the repercussions behind that can be severe, like super serious. And I ain't saying something going to happen, but the possibilities can be definitely large. You know what I'm saying? So, come on, man. That's kind of weird, y'all, ain't it, bro? Like, I mean... You still gonna have people in LA that's gonna be me riding him if they see him. Oh, what's up, Roddy Rebel? You know, that's cool, whatever. And you know what? That is true, too. That is true. You got a lot of individuals who possibly do not even care. If it could come with some clout or some money or whatever, they don't really care. You know, because you got a lot of individuals who get, uh, uh, get into doing business with people that's direct enemies. You know, whatever the tie or the relationship may be. So, you know, at the end of the day, I can see, you know, with the right position or the right situation on the table, a lot of individuals could just say it is what it is and they don't even care. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's a good point, Milk. Bro, but for the most part, you bring in a lot of heat on yourself. Not just from Crips, Bloods, High Rules, Hoofers, bro. Remember, you said L.A. in general, so now you got to worry about the Southsiders and everybody else in Los Angeles. Why would you do it, bro? Like I said, if you posted this story post after you didn't slid 
Maybe you got into like a physical altercations with some hoovers. You know, this would have been warranted. But this right here is just boo boo from the circumstances that done took place, bro. You ain't do nothing. You ain't kick up no dust. And if I'm not mistaken, bro, it was a video that was took of, of one of them, probably him. Probably, I don't know if it was Roddy Rebel or whoever it was, but one of them people from New York that's feeling some type of way about what happened to Pop Smoke did a story post and they was on Manchester and Figaro. Bro, you are on Manchester and Figaro. That is a busy street. That is an intersection in Los Angeles, lo. And then you in a car. You ain't on foot. You ain't troop status. You ain't walking through that field, bro. And it's like you putting more of a target on you. Now, I don't know. But like I said, do he know there's Hoovers located all around the world? It's Gilligan activity. In my eyes, if Pop Smoke was your boy, bro, and this is your definition of sliding for him, then this type of activity will have him rolling in his grave. That man gonna be rolling. He probably already rolled over in his grave, bro. You know what type of activity you supposed to be doing, bro? You supposed to have somebody getting put in the grave and rolling around. Look like internet banging at its finest. Internet banging. You know it. You <laughs> yeah, it's, it just baffles me because this is weird. Like, you didn't have no physical altercations with no movers while you was in L.A. Hey. Didn't nobody even know you was in L.A. I mean, I wouldn't have even knew if you was in L.A. Because I don't follow you on social media. I don't even really know who you are like that. I just relate you to the whole situation and, and with Bobby Schmurter, bro. But I didn't see no blog saying Roddy Rebel is in Los Angeles. Roddy Rebel spotted in L.A. Roddy Rebel eating in Los Angeles. I didn't see none of that, bro. So if you was in L.A., you was real quiet. And when you was at the intersection of Manchester and Fig. Recording that little video, bro. One more street. And that is the entrance to the 110, bro. The 110 freeway. And then where do you take that to? You take that to the 105. Where do you take that to, my guy? LAX. <laughs> now, what's next with these internet goofies? Like, for real, these internet Gilligans. Now you just putting a real big target on your back. Like, saying, like, stuff like this to have you potentially get whacked, smacked. But you desperate. Desperado mode. We all know you ain't doing no numbers. You ain't making no music. You're not kicking up no dust musically, bro. You have to go against. You have to, like, try to get some traction by going at it with the Hoovers, bro. All of them. Remember you said that? So the Hoovers in Texas, the Hoovers in New York, the Hoovers in Seattle, the Ho everywhere, bro. Everywhere they got, anywhere they located, bro, because they everywhere. So, I mean, you got to deal with that. You're going to have to stand on that guy. But like I said, why would you even put this on the Internet? Like, I'm never going to be on the Internet, like, with some street beef. And I'm going to be on there saying, yeah, I just slid. I just slid through the sucker side. Or I just slid through the neighborhoods. Like, I was just riding through the main streets trying to catch one. Like, why? I'm not getting on the Internet saying that, bro. And I know that they got department. They got police departments with rooms, with individuals in there. And their whole job is to search the internet, bro. They hunt people down on the internet. They hunt them down. They stalk them like prey. They screenshot. They... I mean, that is true. You know, if you think that the law enforcement ain't going to use social, ma uh, social media as a tool to investigate issues, problems, or crimes then, you know, that's just going to be, you know, you know, the lack of you using your intelligence. But it then came out in certain press release and all kind of stuff where they use, where they say how they use that, you know, to their advantage. I mean, they, I think they said that in the, you know, look how they do it with music, everything. They speak on it in the YSL trial. Man, they, social media is definitely getting monitored. And, you know, it could be a possibility that they might not be directly on you. But they might have a system in place to where, like, if you say certain stuff or if certain stuff is said, then it just gets sent straight to them. Who knows? Record. They get evidence, bro. But now when you do do something and you in trial, they like, no, we got this. We got this. No, we can prove this. No, look at him saying this. He taking a picture doing this. Like, 
you gotta be careful with everything you put on the internet. But you should know that, bro. Because you did seven years and some change over that, bro. Slipping up on the internet. This internet really gonna be your downfall. You only get so many chances. One, two. But when it get to three, you're out of here, G. Washed up, failed, no motion having ass rapper. You really about to go and try to kick up dust with one of the most feared reptiles of gangs in Los Angeles? It just don't make no sense. But y'all got to let me know. And look, don't be no unsubscribe recurring viewer for too 